Welcome to another episode of Tolga Astro Sky X Tutorials. In this episode, we're going to go through how to do accurate polar alignment using the model that we created earlier. If you remember at the last episode, I went through how to do a <coughs> T-point model. So now we have our model. We have our model and we're going to use the information that we have from this model to correct our polar alignment. In this case I'm using actually a paramount. Uh, as you can see, uh, paramount T-point reports the polar alignment errors on both azimuth and altitude elevation and just by aligning the telescope the mount to the Sun earlier today I was able to get really close as you can see that's within minutes three arc minutes 11 arc minutes away from the pole so the rough polar alignment is, is uh, I get pretty accurate results even with rough polar alignment so let's go ahead and do the uh, accurate polar alignment routine. For that, we're going to click accurate polar alignment. Hit next. So we're going to ask Sky X to pick a star for us. I normally look at the percentage suitability percentage uh, pick a star right click and close loop slew currently the telescope is slewing to the star it's going to image link it and center the star for us let's look Now this is without the image link. Now this with the image link, as you can see, it uh, fixed the polar alignment error. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to go to our focus tool, and we're going to take continuous exposure, so we can almost watch it in live view our star so we can make the the polar alignment adjustments that we need to do in the next step SkyX is going to move the mount and offset that star away from the center crosshairs as much as the polar alignment error so let's see there you go so and if you wanted to know which way to go t-point helps us here it says loosen the right knob and tighten the left knob 10 ticks. The left and the right are from as you, you're behind the mount facing towards north. So your left knob will be that. So the instruction said loosen the right, tighten the left. And also it says to lower, lower the axis 3 ticks. So right now I'm going to go by the mount, I'm going to be watching the screen and 
follow the instructions. I'm going to call that good enough. I'm going to stop the continuous exposures and I'm going to report to Skyax that I'm done making the adjustments and we're done with our polar alignment. As you can see, T-point changed into azimuth. The alignment is excellent. But of course, if you believe that you made a mistake, I would make another small model and see what SkyX reports with that model. Thank you so much.